So it's just before sunrise now. It is freezing tonight, like absolutely freezing. Just wait for the car to warm up and we're gonna do this inshallah. We go pick up my mate and we go head to the camps. Uh, usually, usually he's always waiting for me, but I think today, uh, what are you putting perfume on for, bro? We're not going to get married, you know? All right, oh, let's get rolling. We got all our stuff ready. Yeah, uh, got the bag, got the bag. Uh, bro, are we gonna go live there or we're we just gonna go for 24 hours? Uh, it's 24 hours, bro. 24 hours. Trust me, it's, uh, it's not pleasant. Not pleasant, huh? Not pleasant at all. It's gonna be pleasant so, today. It's not like camping in the camping in the outback, in the yeah. Outback, so the <laughs> peak district or lake districts back home in England, but uh, oh, I think the first thing we should do coffee, bro. Fill up fuel. <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> fill the car and before, fill us up as well. Before any trip, yeah, you should yeah. always have fuel in your car. Yeah. I don't know if we're gonna find anything open, but yeah. let's just see what happens. So we just came to fill up fuel and fill up coffee. Very important. You always need coffee. Yo, sorry. Uh yes, bro. Yeah, that'll be good. Salam alaikum. Shaykh Madlam. Oh, you always need that coffee in the morning, man. Thanks a lot. Get it in. So, better snack up before we before we go. All right, so just having our, uh, our morning coffee and our Findik. Findik. Very important. We're heading to northern uh, Idlib province. That's uh, one of the campsites there. And uh, yeah, the sun's about to come up. We've got all our stuff. Yeah. These are not. It's not a campsite. It's just on the side of a highway. Subhanallah. Oh, you can see that little box like that. Makeshift toilet. Makeshift, makeshift toilet that is. Oh, yeah, you'll just be like driving on the main road, and it's normal to see just like camps on the side of the road. Subhanallah. Oh, yeah, lift off. I'll, I'll drop camera. Alright, so we're just driving into the camp now. This is where the road ends and then from here onwards it's just just muddy roads. What do you think about this place man? Thanks my boots for the day. Bro, it was freezing in the morning and as we were coming here it the sun came out, it was starting to get a bit warm and now it's just freezing again and uh, looks like it might even rain. Many campsites are actually built as you can see in agricultural you know uh, land so there's no plumbing systems there's no drainage systems but here they've literally just dug a hole for the water to collect you know during this rain so camps don't come flooded all right so this is the tent that we're going to be staying in and uh yeah let's go inside and uh, check it out y'all yeah I call shotgun. Call <laughs> shotgun, yeah. <laughs> oh man. SubhanAllah. And yeah, literally. This is the kitchen. Yeah. So what they've actually done is inside the tent, they've actually blocked off and cemented this area so they can wash, have a shower, and then there's a little drainage pipe that goes to the outside of the tent because there is no showers, no bathrooms in these tents. It's just a tarp, you know, tent. All right, so these tents, they don't have electricity. So what you'll find is all the tents will have a battery and, you know, a solar panel, 150 watt, 200 watt solar panel outside. And it'll charge up during the day if there's sunlight. And uh, from this, you'll charge your phone. You know, you'll connect the LED lights. Like right now, this is the LED lights. You just connect it like that. And, uh, yep, we have light. Drinking water for the night. It's always good. Now it's time to unpack our stuff. Uh, let's show you guys what I brought with me, inshallah. All right. Let's unpack. All right, what do we got here? Okay. First things first. Deodorant. 
You always need deodorant, man. Toothpaste. Munchies. You need some munchies. Toothbrush. Always gotta brush your teeth. Beard oil. Any man with a beard, and all men should have beards, need beard oil. Cream, because, yeah, why not? Alright, that's everything. What else we got here? I can't even remember what I packed, man. I don't really think I brought anything. Oh, yes. Noodles. Broken noodles. But noodles, nevertheless. One for me, and another one for me. Nice. And, alright, this is the most important thing in this whole backpack. You can eat it, if you wanted to. Coffee maker. Espresso. And, coffee grinder. What else we got in here? Oh, Leatherman. You always need a Leatherman. What else we got in here? Lighter. Yep. I don't smoke, but you always need a lighter. So after we unpacked, we had to try and get a little cozy and warm in what would be our new home for 24 hours. This meant turning on the makeshift heater, which they call in Syria a sorba. After fiddling around a bit and using unconventional techniques, we finally got there in the end. After you played around with this contraption. Honestly, it's like a spaceship. I mean, look at this. <laughs> 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 Yeah, man. That thing is so dangerous. That's it's getting hot now. It's asking for trouble. Yeah, that's getting hot now, man. To be honest, this campsite is actually one of the better campsites. I mean, they've actually built an outdoor toilet here, uh, which is, to be honest, something that you don't really think about that much, you know. So, I don't know. But what do you think about this place, man? Like, bro, this is this is the wall, man. That thing looks like it's just going to rip apart, bro. As we set out to explore, we were quickly welcomed into the tent of one of the residents for a cup of tea. Uh, so we just came inside this tent now. Uh, and mashallah, this, this man, he's invited us in for some tea. This has got 10, 10 teaspoons of sugar. Mm. That one's sweet, mashallah. If you like sweet tea, then Syria is a place for you. And if you can see, like, what the residents of this tent have done is they've actually built inside the tent a brick wall. And now this wall is just, subhanAllah, the basic luxury, you know, of just being able to lean yeah. against the wall, you know? Wall. Yeah. This is the kitchen. Yell. Now. Yeah, Now it's actually it's actually a sunny day outside. Yeah, it's the middle of winter, but it's actually quite sunny outside. But because we're inside the tent, there's no sunlight. I mean, there's a small window here, where maybe a little bit of light comes in. But and this is the view you got. There's no pantries. There's no fancy, you know, cabinets to store your stuff. You're just hanging up the pots on a pole. And look at this, they actually made, look, actually made from these bags, shelves. And I'm really shy to, to be here right now, to be honest with you. But they literally would not let us go until we ate, man. Honestly, man. That's an amazing spread. <coughs> You've got here, you got some hummus, olive oil. Now, olive oil is just essential for everything here. Literally. Your zaka, tomatoes, falafel. Got full. Mashallah. Olives. Bread. You definitely need bread. Every Syrian meal has bread. Yep. And then you have here. So it's called maqdus. It's uh, it's very very popular uh, in the Levant region. Uh, it's basically like pickled eggplants with uh, you know nuts and chilies and, and olive oil. All right. Let's get in, inshallah. All right. We're gonna we're gonna start, inshallah. I'll tell you one thing that's yeah. good about this heater. Yeah. If you just heat up your bread straight away. Straight away. Down. Just chuck it in there. Warms up. Heat it up. Nice warm bread. Yeah, man. Look at that, man. 
Alright, so this round four of tea. My best in Wallah. There's no way I can drink that, man. Yeah, man. After such a warm welcoming, we headed out to explore the situation of the camp and its residents. Alright, so this was the kitchen we were just in. And this is what it's like outside the kitchen. There's some chickens there. Look at hmm. that. That's just a toilet. Four, uh, four pieces of cloth. Oh, look at that. This is a bathroom. Literally. Literally. This is the home. And this is a toilet. Subhanallah, man. And yeah, honestly, bro. That's difficult, man. Not every, uh, not every tent is the same, man. Uh, this one looks really rough. It's literally just old rags stitched together, man. The thing is, these people, they have really good homes. Yeah. You know, in the surrounding villages, wherever they're from, from uh -huh. Abu Dhabi, Abu Dhabi, Saraki, Khan Yeah, subhanAllah, man. And these people did nothing. They did nothing wrong. Alhamdulillah. Just my. Akba. Akba. MashaAllah. Shadamra. Sebasinin. MashaAllah. The Batal. Man, these are some resilient people, man. I'll tell you that much. I mean, they're literally washing the dishes outside. The skies are cleared up a little bit. And now, this is when you come outside to wash and, you know, hang your clothes up and that. It's like these are like basic luxuries, you know, we don't we don't really think about it. Everyone's just hanging around this fire, man. Just trying to keep warm and uh, make a cup of tea, man. The problem is with Syria is that the Syrian regime, Assad, they literally targeted innocent children and women, you know? Yeah. And this is the, this has been the issue from day one, you know? And now, just when I say that, there's a jet flying around again. Bloody hell, man. Creating awareness for Corona. Yeah. I mean, the people have just got so many other things that they need to worry about. You know, jets over their head. You know, being able to survive the winter. What you're going to eat every day. Uh, I had to show you guys this here. I've never... Ever I've never ever before. seen this order, bro. Have you ever, bro? Never. You've been to many camps, bro. Please tell me, have you ever heard of this before, bro? I've never seen this before. Okay. They literally collect. They're not used nappies, yeah. They're like defected nappies from the factory. And basically, what the sister does, she uses this and puts it in here to cook on. Subhanallah. You got a pipe here with a fan pulling uh, air in and it's connected to a 12 volt battery and then this thing is just blasting man yeah it's not like uh, she's trying to save money no nah. it's, it's, it's not she's trying to live choice. you know she doesn't have a choice she you know have a choice because uh, yeah, um, inflation expenses and displacement no jobs as we were walking around we heard the sound of children rehearsing close by so we went to check it out the kids here, they've got a uh, Quran lesson. They've got their classes. Look at where they're living. And they're still learning. You know, growing up. We don't want to disturb the class when we leave, man. Mashallah. Oh, these kids are cute, man. Subhanallah. Despite the situation, the children were still learning and enjoying their childhood. It was amazing to see such innocence in such extraordinary circumstances. Where are they living with the death? Subhanallah. Look at that. Even if they don't die with the death, uh, on. This is actually the uh, this is actually the gravesite of uh, the brother Abu Yusuf. It's, uh, it's his father's uh, gravesite here, Subhanallah. Man. And he literally lives down the road, and this is where his father's buried, man. Subhanallah. 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 From what we had seen until now, and what the residents of the camp had told us, the situation was far worse than we expected. Alright, so uh, 
this is the front door again and uh, we're back at home home sweet home we need coffee bro we need coffee get charged up we need yeah. coffee we got to recharge our coffee uh, nice coffee storage uh, so we can make it through the night man we've got our uh, espresso machine and we, uh, we got our coffee beans in there mm -hmm. yeah. close this up start grinding 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 press that down like that like so and uh yeah all right bro she's kicking man let's have a look oh yeah we're learning what the kids are learning in the school next to us because we can hear everything mashallah it's good <laughs> we're learning while we're at home in our tent and we're drinking coffee what a bargain it's nice they got a message here in this capsule so we get up and do with all and pray each other. I tell you what, you're not gonna be praying half asleep. I tell you definitely. That I feel like I've just had a shower in the winter outside in a refugee camp. It's exactly how I feel right now. Excellent. Yo. Assalamu alaikum. Just in the message now. We're gonna turn this camera off so we can pray inshallah. After prayer, we were invited to another family's tent to meet one of the local residents. They were extremely hospitable and really down to earth. They shared stories about their displacement and experiences they cherished of their hometowns. We witnessed the happiness of the people, but at the same time, we just saw how resilient they really are. But the people have been so, so awesome here. We've been to literally every house or tent yeah, invitation and drinking tea and breakfast and lunch mm. we've never we've not really had a chance to uh do much what we came out we yeah. said to do we've done some other things but i mm. went to the massage of the local uh, the kids doing the hips of quran the local mm. school met the kids met some orphans most of the night is spent with family with friends sitting around the fireplace keeping warm sharing stories eating together laughing together until it gets late and everyone goes back to their tent and they go to sleep. أهلا ورد والله. نورك نورك. والله والله وجهك النور. After an exhausting day, we had a night full of singing and laughter. We had to get back to our tent and call it a night. Uh, the brother's wife, she made some sweets for us. Uh, just as we we're leaving, she said we have to take it with us. So we got to take it with they us. Finally made it back to our tent. There's the sweets. Actually, that was very kind of her. My last one, tell her And look, the neighbors bought us some blankets and some pillows. Just be sleeping in the cold. But look how nice the neighbors were. They literally bought us blankets and pillows. All right, so it's quarter to one in the morning. Just about to get to sleep. Uh, got to turn the light off, turn the heater off, and uh, yeah, but I can all I can feel, you know, everywhere around me. And even though there's a wall here and this is the tent, there's just drafts of coldness. I don't know, coming from the ground, coming from the walls, and uh, I better get under these blankets before this heater turns off, and then it's gonna get really cold, really fast. So, uh, yeah, I'll speak to you guys in the morning. All right, it's just before sunrise now, and it is absolutely freezing in here, man. I literally feel like I'm sleeping outside in, like, uh, I feel like I'm not even in a tent right now. The thing is, it's not even worth me putting on jackets and layers outside now because I need to wash up anyway. So I'm just going to have to end up taking it off, so just go full Monty, mate. All right, let's go, man. Full Monty. Let's do this. Oh, I'm not even going to lie. It's a blessing to have a toilet 
a built toilet in this camp. All right, just about 300 meters down the road. They don't even have one of these built toilets. I did not say that was a pleasant experience. All right, where's our water tank? All right, my body's literally steaming right now. Oh man, I need to get inside quick. All right, where are we? All right, this way, let's go. I just have to, I have to show you guys this, yeah. I mean, this family put these clothes out yesterday to dry because, you know, there was a little bit of sun. But look at that, look. frosted. Look at it. I mean, it's literally frozen. Look at that. I mean, All right, so we just finished praying now. Everyone's going back to their tent. Woo. It is cold, man. So, alaikum, bro. What's the good news, man? Oh, oh, what a nice sight, man. I never thought I would say this, bro, but I really, I really am look forward to coming back to my tent, bro. <laughs> you never thought oh, I'd come back to tent, <laughs> bro. After experience outside and the cold, after sleeping here last night, you really, right, you really, really appreciate the sun, you know. I mean, just the sun coming up is such a big blessing. I mean. Not only does the temperature warm up a bit, your tent defrosts, you know, you can hang your clothes up and hopefully that they dry. And, uh, you know, you can actually leave, you can actually leave your tent. I mean, because if that sun doesn't come up or if it's raining or if it's snowing, there's no way you're leaving this tent. You're gonna be cooped up, you know, in this small tent. All right, so I don't even know how the car started, but uh, just letting it warm up. And, uh, warm, warm, yeah, we might need some water, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. finished packing up. Yeah, and uh, now we're gonna say bye to the family Families. that we were staying with. Amazing, uh, amazing man. yeah, man. That was we literally they're not let us weren't expecting that yesterday. They're not, oh, let no, us, man. they're not let us lift a finger. Like, we literally yeah. came to like experience some hardships, yeah, and the Syrians just wouldn't let us go through the experience you know that they had to go through we saw a lot of sad things you know we saw a, it was emotional you know we saw kids walking literally barefoot you know running in the mud but at the end of it I left feeling so positive you know so hopeful I mean these these are people that have lost everything one of the things that you know one of the locals said to me is that look this is just temporary yeah. we're only here for a period of time until Assad's removed and his regimes changed you know and then they're able to return to their homes safely yeah.